um, that was very good for this football team, for those players, for them to be able to come out here and play well at home in conference. It was, it was harder than I thought, um, not the game. I got a lot of love for those players and those coaches at, at Nevada. We had some good times. That was a tough deal for me at the end. Um, but I'm, I'm Hawaii, and our players believe that they can do, do some great things now. And, and it's because they believe in trusting each other. And, and, and there was a special feeling today on that field, and I'm glad we're 2-0 and at home. So I'm probably better at taking questions. Coach, can you start by talking about the impact that your running game had on tonight's game? It, it, it can be demoralizing when, when a team, uh, when, when you're able to run the ball pretty well. Um, we've got some good running backs. We've got some good guys up front. You know, I, I can do without the penalties. I think Nevada's, you know, I think they were a little beat up up front. I think we, we executed fairly well. I wish we were able to. I'm not real happy with the end of the game. I thought we should have been able to get a few first downs and, and end it in a four-minute drive. That's the next step for this football team. But we can't take anything away from, from these kids. They, you know, they played very hard. They played hard for Hawaii. And I hope the community can, uh, can appreciate that. Coach, talk about Drew's performance. Did it surprise even you how well he handled himself out there? Um, no. No, it didn't. You're looking at a kid who, before his alarm goes off in the morning, is thinking about football. Is thinking about this football team. Um, I'm, I'm happy for him. I think he's dreamt about this and since he could remember his dreams. Um, and. You know, he, I think he really, I, I think the team respects him for his approach. It, it, it's not that anyone's approach is, has been bad. It's that his is at a level that you can't help but respect it. And for him to have some success and, and really kind of lead this football team on offense, um, I'm happy for him. Because he took, he, he took a chance on us. And... and he came to Hawaii and was looking for that, that, that opportunity to, to play college football at the D1 level. And, uh, you know, he should be proud of himself. Coach, first conference win in over a year. How much did that mean to a lot of the returnees to get that first conference win, you know, in the books? I, I'm just, I'm very grateful that they believed in our coaching staff. We told them, you know, that they're, they're good enough to win. They just got to believe they're going to win. They just got to play as hard as they can for 60 minutes, and they can't play uh, selfishly. You know, I think we had a couple penalties that we'd like to have back, but um, you know, we we didn't do anything. The staff did a great job. I didn't do anything. Those kids made this happen, and you know, I know there's there's a fan that always emails me that says, "Why do you call them kids?" And I'm sorry, but. They're, they're having fun out there and they're playing something. They're playing the game they love and they, they really, I thought, represented what Hawaii football was meant to be tonight at home in conference and got a win. And they should be proud of that. Coach, understanding that uh, homecoming and next home game is still a few weeks away, are you already looking forward to coming back home after a victory like tonight? No, I'm looking forward to going to San Jose. I'm looking forward to take the best 66 we got getting on a plane on Thursday, and, and going and trying to get win number two in the conference. We'll deal with homecoming uh, when the time's appropriate. But right now, you know, I, the boys deserve to enjoy it. Um, but San Jose is a football team that put up 41 points today. And we need to go into a, a pretty historical program where there's been some incredible games over the years between UH and San Jose. Um, they've got a they got a coaching staff that's incredibly veteran. And, you know, we've had many moments in that stadium. And I hope, I hope we enjoy it tonight. But if we just want to 
sit back and think we've, we've arrived, we're wrong. This isn't, this isn't our goal. This was part of our goal. Continuing to get better and compete as, at the highest level we can, that's our goal. And we've got another conference game where, you know, we want to be 2-0 in the conference next Saturday night. Coach, we saw you embrace lots of Nevada players yeah, after hard. that game. It was hard. It was hard. I, harder than I thought it was going to be. I, that probably has a lot to do with my, 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 my uh, mindset right now. They, those kids at, at Nevada mean a lot to me, a lot of them. And, you know, it's, it, it, it's, a, it's, it's a, sometimes it's a terrible business. You know, you got families, kids, players that, that trust you and believe in you and, and, and your job takes you somewhere else. And it was, it was more emotional than I thought it was, to be honest with you, with a lot of those players. And uh, I love every one of them. You know, if they ever need anything from me, I'll help them. Um, I, I, our approach was to win this football game, but that was harder than I thought it would be afterwards, to be honest with you. Um, I, I didn't take, you know, leading up to the game, I, I probably tried to engage in psychological warfare as much as anybody, but after that game was over, uh, that that was that was that, that took a toll on me. That was hard. And you talk about the extreme joy our locker room has, and the extreme disappointment and hurt that their locker room has. And I have great love for both guys. It, it's a little bit hard for me, um, but I'm uh, you know I'm Hawaii. That's that's where my heart is. And, you know, next week we'll uh, hopefully won't have these emotions. I don't, I don't think there's any reason it should.